The sky looked lovely tonight. The stars are shining brightly. The moon is perfectly round. You know what? A perfectly round moon is called a full moon. But even you might have noticed some days in the sky there is no moon at all. Even if the sky looks very clear. But why that happens? Why the moon is playing hide and seek with us? Because the moon is changing its shape as it revolves around the earth. These Changing of shape of the moon is called phases of moon. Phases of moon is nothing but the revolution of moon around the earth. Which the moon appears to us like it is changing its shape. From the earth, if we observe the moon, we feel that it grows from a thin crescent to a full disk. Which means a full moon. Then again it shrinks back to a thin crescent before it gets vanished off. Aren't you getting excited to know more about the phases of moon? Okay, let's learn more. We know the moon shines brightly because it reflects the light from the sun. Which we can observe by doing a small experiment. If I light a torch in front of a football, you can see half of the football will be looking bright and the other half will be looking dark. If we consider the torch as the sun and the football as the moon, it, it's, it's got over. See, the part of the light which falls on the football looks brighter and the other part looks dark. The phases of the moon depends on the moon's position in relation with earth and the sun. As the moon makes a way around the earth, it appears in different shapes, which means in different angles. These are called phases of the moon. Do you know what? The phases of the moon are named after how much amount of the moon is visible, which is increasing or decreasing each day. Now you may be wondering, what are those different names of the phases of the moon? Let's see. Phase 1, the new moon. In this phase, we cannot see the illuminated part of the moon. Phase 2 is the waxing crescent. Waxing means the moon appears from a smaller to a larger size. Crescent means it is between new moon and the half moon. Phase 3 is the first quarter. In this phase, you can see half lit of the moon. Phase 4 is a waxing gibbous moon. Which means the moon is almost 3 fourth. It's more than a half. It looks like a hump. Phase 5 is the full moon. Beautiful and poetic. Phase 6 is the vanning gibbous moon. Vanning means the moon starts decreasing. In this phase, the moon starts decreasing its shape. Phase 7 is the last quarter. In this phase, the moon appears half lit again. Phase 8 is the vanning crescent. This is the last phase before the next new moon. Now we know the different phases of moon. There are 8 phases of moon. But how much time a moon takes to revolve around the earth? It takes 29 and a half days to complete one revolution. And this is called as a lunar month. Speaking about the moon, there is no atmosphere and there is no water in the surface of moon. And the surface of the moon looks very rough. So in this chapter, we have learned moon revolves around the earth. There are eight different phases of the moon. There is no atmosphere and there is no water in the moon.